Woodhaven sauce hinge jigs are the fastest, easiest, and most accurate way to route the two-step mortises required for these unique invisible hinges. CNC machined out of half-inch phenolic for heavy-duty use, they measure 5 and 5 8 inches by 7 and 3 quarter inches for maximum router support. Includes double track for mounting the jig and clamping to your work. Clamps not included. Requires a bushing and a spiral upcut bit, both sold separately. If using your own bushing, make sure the nose isn't over 3 8 inch long. You'll need a plunge router to cut the hinge mortises. The quality of the plunge mechanism can affect the size of the mortise, resulting in a poor fit if the plunge mechanism has excessive slop. The jig clamps directly to the work stock, so there are no nail holes or defects produced. Using your plunge router, both the long, shallow, and short, deep mortises are cut without moving the jig or the part. Two retractable stops index the short, deep mortise. The sauce hinge jig has the correct setback built in for your sauce hinge according to the manufacturer's specifications. Always index the face of the work against the double track and an edge against the underside of the hinge jig. The center of the hinge jig is 3 and 7 eighths inches from each end. Use this measurement to index your work along the double track and locate where the hinge mortise will be cut. Clamp the work and double track together in a vise, or clamp the work in a vise and use bar clamps to clamp the double track and the sauce hinge jig to the work. After installing the bushing and bit in your plunge router, set the bushing in the opening in the hinge jig. Plunge the bit down until it just touches the edge of the work and lock it in place. Place the mounting flange of the sauce hinge between the turret and the stop rod to set the plunge depth for the long, shallow mortise. Slide the one tracks out until they are no longer visible in the hinge jig opening. Tighten the screws and cut the long, shallow mortise. The debris generated during cutting will interfere with the bushing travel in the hinge jig. Make as many passes as necessary, cleaning out the debris between passes until the cut is complete. Place the main body of the sauce hinge between the turret and the stop rod. Adjust the stop rod so it's approximately 1 32nd of an inch above the main body to set the plunge depth for the short, deep mortise. Loosen the two one tracks and push them into the hinge jig opening until they bottom out and are visible. Tighten the screws and cut the short, deep mortise in quarter inch incremental passes until you reach the full depth of cut. An optional 4512 flip stop mounts on an optional longer double track for positioning the hinge mortise a preset distance from the end of the work. A spacer is required for distances less than four and a quarter inch. We recommend two flip stops, one for each side of the jig or end of the work stock. Using a longer length of double track, up to 96 inches or eight feet, these jigs and stops can be mounted in a series the optional self-centering drill centers itself in the hinge screw mounting hole for a perfectly centered pilot hole. We hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned some useful tips and techniques. Keep us in mind for your future woodworking needs and thanks for watching.